as a photographer, backing up is extremely important. And if you don't back up your photos, you might end up losing them and that will not be pretty. Um, losing years of work or if it's just even if it's just a hobby, just losing a bunch of all your images uh, is not going to be fun to deal with. Therefore, backing up is vital. And Lightroom offers one way of backing up. And in this video, I wanted to discuss how you can go about backing up your Lightroom photos and how you can set up a good strategy to make sure everything you do in Lightroom as well as your photos are backed up. Now, I, I would wish that Lightroom offered the opportunity to fully do a full and solid backup of all your photos. What it does offer is two things which are almost enough, but not really enough. So I'm going to show you those first and then let you know of a third way I think you should, or both third and fourth way I think you should be backing up your photos on with. Right, so the first is when you import photos, I'm going to go to the input dialog and just say that I would be importing these photos here. Um, what I can do when I have, say, a copying here is that when I import these photos, I can set them under file handling here. I can set make a secondary copy to. And if I check this and select a folder, say on an external drive, and it's important that it's on an external drive because what you want to protect here is not necessarily that you do a bad edit to a photo because Lightroom, again, saves all edits to its catalog file. But what you want to do here is make sure that if the hard drive you're on, on the main computer goes bad, you want to have a photocopy somewhere else. So an external drive that you dedicate to your photos, you should have one already that you're backing up your entire computer on, but have um, a dedicated one for your photos. Once you have, you can set up your folders here, uh, maybe similar folder structure to the one Lightroom offers. Again, here I don't think Lightroom does a very good job of allowing us to manage that folder structure, but at least you can set up one location. So you have to do the full folder file where Lightroom will make a secondary copy to this folder. And when you do import, it's gonna do that copy automatically. So at least then you have another copy on an external drive, which is all well and good. So what I think you should be doing in addition to that with your photos is backing it up to the cloud. So get um, an, an expensive option, Carbonite or Mosi, both really good. Do a Google search on them and it'll back up whatever you have on your computer. You can set more than just your photos, your files, everything. Um, say unlimited for 55 bucks a year and you'll be able to have them safely stored off-site so it's not going to be in your house it's not going to be in a hard drive in your house say if your house catches fire it's going to be somewhere else now even if you have all of your photos safely stored off-site on another drive in the cloud everything there's still one more thing that you don't want to lose and that's the entire Lightroom catalog file. It's inside of Lightroom, you have all edits, all sorting, all, fo or, um, all collections, tags, keywords, every metadata bit that's gathered from your image, again, including the edits, is saved in your catalog file. And if that, if you lose that, you sure, you'll have your photos, but you won't have any edits, nor will you have keywords or any other things that you've added in Lightroom. What you want to do here is go into your catalog settings and you want to make sure you can do a couple of things here. Under metadata, you can choose to automatically write changes into the XMP so that all the edits are in the raw files at all time. This will make Lightroom slightly slower, but if you, if you find that to be useful for you, you can have it automatically write the changes. If you want, you can also do this manually from the photo menu. What you can also do though, which is the process that I use, is under general, I set to back up the catalog once a month when exiting Lightroom. But if I change this now to, let's say, when Lightroom next exits, and I close that and I quit Lightroom just to be able to show you, this dialog pops up. 
backup catalog. Settings for the catalog indicate it should be backed up. And, and there's a note in here, and this is really important. This will only back up the catalog file and not any photos referenced by it. So you select, again, a folder location, should be in an external drive, maybe as well as in the cloud, where you back up your catalog file. And I advise you to also optimize it after backing up, as well as testing the integrity before backing up to make sure it's not corrupt. And don't even think about hitting the skip this time button, hit the backup button. So let's just, I'm going to save it to the desktop now because I do have secondary backup of this. So backup, it's going to go ahead, perform this, and at the end, you will have a backed up catalog. So you don't have to worry. So as Lightroom closes now, you'll see here on my desktop, I have my Lightroom catalog backed up with a full timestamp and date of when this was. So this is how I advise you to go ahead, back up both photos and the catalog in Lightroom, and they're very good tools for the job.